Hi everyone, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a voiceover in so long so I feel really awkward right now but it has been quite some time since I've uploaded a video um, but I'm so excited today to bring you a speed build of a little post office area I did on my island um, way back when so I'm really excited to show that to you today. I clearly as you can see I did the speed build or I recorded the speed build um, back in October because I have all of my October spooky stuff and furniture and pumpkins out so um, don't mind that. I had flattened my island and I basically was super overwhelmed and I didn't touch my island for the longest time up until I just finally decided to start at my entrance. So as you can see this is my new entrance. I really love how it turned out. I still have this entrance layout to this day. I just have it looking a little bit different. I've changed like the colors and like the items and stuff obviously. But yeah, I really like how my entrance turned out, especially because my resident services is so, 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 so freaking close to my airport, which is a tragedy, but it's fine. So the first thing that you want to do is just go ahead and kind of like carve out your area that you want to put your post office in. I decided to put it up on some cliffs because I wanted to kind of take away the attention of the resident services being so close to my airport. I went ahead and perfected the area that I had already started working on earlier, just kind of making it a little bit bigger to fit the space and the items that I wanted to include into the build. Um, but after that, I basically just start messing around with some of the items the first thing i really placed down is a mailbox that comes with my house because it looks like a mailbox and i thought it would look cool to have in my post office obviously really this whole build was kind of a struggle for me this was actually like a two hour like i filmed it for like two hours straight but it ended up being like 12 minutes because at one i sped it up obviously but like two like i was just like messing around a lot so if you're having trouble placing things for a post office it is okay because I struggled with it as well. I had no idea how to do the layout. I did get some inspiration from a couple of YouTube videos that I will link in the description. I definitely don't want to take credit for this post office idea because there's so many other creators that have already posted their kind of like iterations of a post office. So I'll go ahead and link some of my favorite ones that I kind of got inspiration from down below.
So at this point I reached that time where my creative juices stopped working so I just move on to the next day and I start putting like little finishing touches. I really really love this idea that I got from again a couple of um, creators that I will link down below. I got this idea there was this um, custom code that you can do for the magazine stacks I believe. It's a DIY. Um, it's a magazine stack but basically the custom design makes it look like they're newspapers so I thought that was really really cool and I did that um, and I will also link these custom codes that look kind of like packages I really really like them and I just put them on zen pillows or cushions and I thought it looked really really cool And at this point, I was just putting, of course, finishing touches of flowers and custom designs. I always feel like that's the last thing that you want to do, especially if you feel like the area is not really coming together. I really, really um, suggest you wait until the end and kind of just wait and see what it looks like with flowers and like shrubs and trees and custom designs placed because it definitely changes um, the kind of like layout of your certain area that you're trying to decorate. This is the finished look for this little post office area outside of my airport. I really, really love how this turned out. I really like the scales and the packages and just like overall the whole area. I was really trying to go towards kind of like a train station with like the little writing corner and like where you can get your newspaper and kind of like chill area but also get like letters out and like packages out, which I really, really thought was cute. Um, I really like how it turned out. It definitely looks different now. Um, I will be doing, once I upload all of the videos that I have already filmed, but haven't edited or done voiceovers for, I will be uploading an updated video of how my island looks like currently because it definitely looks a lot different than this iteration of my post office. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I did create an Animal Crossing Instagram. So if you want to go ahead and follow that, I'll go ahead and put this little screenshot here. It's jewels.crossing. I made it. I post on it a lot. I like posting on stories and I post a lot of inspiration pictures, especially with how I'm just continuing to develop my island. Like I still haven't finished the island since flattening it. But yeah, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, and I would definitely recommend hitting that bell button next to the subscribe button because sometimes I am a little on off when it comes to uploading and it would kind of like alert you for any of the new videos that I end up uploading in the near future. So stick around. Um, thank you so much again for the fifth time and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys.